Hey guys, it's Bakusagi, and we're back for more Earthbound. Sorry about that little delay between videos. Uh, I was having some issues, and Cam Studio was having issues, so... Yeah. I kind of went into detail on it on my channel page, so you can read up on that if you want, but... Whatever, we're back in business now, so let's move on. Now, uh... As you can see, uh, I am looking quite a bit different from when we last left off because of said issues. Meaning I had to play back from the beginning of Winters all the way to here because I'm stupid and <laughs> haven't been saving in game. But whatever, you know. We're in the same spot where we left off, so let's go. So now that we're out of here, there's this in the sky. Yeah, we got a pretty tough road. He's carrying food. That's not very useful food. These two items here, the croissant and calorie stick, they do the exact same thing. They only have recover the exact same HP and yeah. Why they would put two items that do the same thing in the game, I have no idea. There's a village with many interesting people just ahead. You should go there and visit. I heard the name of village is Saturn Valley, but it cannot be found on any map. Yep. If we still had the town map that we got at the beginning of the game, we wouldn't be able to see this place on there. Anyway... There are a few enemies in this place, and honestly, they're kind of tough. Uh, you have a variation of the Antoids that we saw back at Giant Step, you know, those really irritating little fuckers. Uh, they're, they're a little bit less tough at this stage. So, yeah. Um, here, we're going to see them right now. These are red Antoids. They, they're pretty much a beefed up version of the black Antoids, but since we're stronger now, they're nowhere near as annoying. And this guy, the Armored Frog, he has ridiculous defense. Uh, pretty much your only chance of damaging him is either with PSI or with Ness's regular attack. So yeah. And Ness and Paula are both possessed. I believe it was... I believe it was Jeff who was possessed in the last video, but yeah, there's still not much of, still not really anything to worry about. More of a nuisance, excuse me, more of a nuisance than anything else, to be honest. No, I want to attack stupid frog. <laughs> yeah, just a weak little one HP attack. Nothing to worry about. Oh come on. Yeah, the armored frogs they can make you lose PP. Uh. <laughs> Jeff finished it off. Wow. <laughs> the one HP damage. <laughs> that was awesome. I'm leveling up. Ooh, fire beta. That's sweet. I can't remember if we got that in the last video or not, but <laughs> whatever, we have it now. And yeah. There's also another version of the zombies, the urban zombie in this area, that still aren't anything to worry about. Damn it. I got protein drink, identical to the croissant, and hey, what's this cave doing here? Oh my god, a gigantic... What is it? A gigantic cockroach. Yeah, uh... These guys are... They, they can be pretty annoying. They have an pretty strong attack, as you can tell, and they can solidify you. Uh, so, yeah, they're not too much to worry about, but <laughs> they're really just... Oh, what? They're just more of a nuisance than anything. It'll waste a lot of its turns. It's not hard to kill at all. It takes a few hits, but yeah. And that's leveled up again, yay. <sighs> so, yeah, I had some issues in the last, since the last video. Uh, I recorded a lot of stuff, but <laughs> turns out uh, two gigabyte fi uh, files are too intense for Cam Studio to handle, and so the recording was completely scrapped without any, you know, anything. I like lost it completely, and. After that, I was just like, fuck it, I'll do this later. Because, <laughs> um, yeah, I was all the way back in Winters, and I hadn't even leveled Jeff up. He was still at level one. It was just like, I basically had to replay two videos worth of content, which was really, really stupid. 
But I took the opportunity to... Damn it. I took the opportunity to level Jeff up a bit more. I, th I think he's at a higher level than he was at the last video. But anyway. We have entered in this strange area with yellow grass. And odd music. Oh my god, what the hell is that? It's a walking head. We feel groove. Hi ho, me Mr. Saturn. This place all are Mr. Saturn. Okay. These little walking head dudes are everywhere. Damn. So, this is Saturn Valley, and I thought there's Saturn Zoom. Yeah, here's the hospital in this place. You can just completely heal you up. Oh, there go the ghosts. Right here is the hotel. Uh, as soon as you have access to Saturn Valley, you should always come. You should always come here. Uh, for Je if you want Jeff to repair items because it doesn't cost anything and you don't waste time by walking across two rooms every time you wake up. So yeah, if Jeff has broken items, it's always a good place to... It's, al bleh. it's always a good idea to come here and rest up and fix those. Unfortunately, we didn't fix anything that time, but whatever. I'll get to that off screen or something. And we have a b bunch of items here. Sudden Guts Pill. Uh, that can double your guts. Uh while you're in battle. It only lasts for the duration of that battle. Protractor completely useless. Broken spray can, we can fix that for monies. Uh yeah, the sudden guts pill. Uh let me explain uh, let me explain guts to you real quick. It guts is the factor in well, it's the stat that uh determines whether you get criticals and stuff. Like it's what <laughs> I lost my train of thought. It's it's what contributes to getting critical hits, and also another very useful feature is that if you get hit with a mortal attack, sometimes if your guts is high, you will survive the hit with one HP. And this center wants to give us items. Base secret. Base behind Grapefruit Falls. Password? I tell. Belchman say. Say password. Stand still. Wait for three minutes. Okay, that's interesting. Wow. A door that leads to nowhere. The ledge that the three of us can barely fit on. That's Saturn Valley. Hey, dude. So, point, you have $380 we trade secret herb. So, point, you have $1780 we trade horn of life. Yeah, basically, you just. Uh, you can buy cool things. R right up here is the shop. Um. I think there's some weapon upgrades here that I can get. Uh, bionic slingshot, I stand by what I said in an earlier video. Uh, if you want higher offense at the expense of accuracy and critical hits, then by all means get it, but I, I just choose not to. Uh, I'm gonna optimize my equips real quick, so I'll be right back. Okay, I got most of my equips up to speed. Uh, I didn't buy great charms because they're kind of expensive and they only give you like one point of defense. Whatever. This guy here, he sells some uh, pretty useful things. Uh, I didn't buy anything, but Horn of Life. Um, it is exactly like the Cup of Life noodles that I think I showed in the last video. Yeah, it'll just completely restore your life, you know, full HP and everything. The peanut cheese bar. This is a very good food item if you like to carry around a lot of food. It's fairly cheap and it restores about 100 HP, so it's useful. And refreshing herb and the secret herb. Uh, they have the same as if, same effects as certain healing healing spells. So yeah, if you want to save your PP, you can carry a couple of those around. I personally don't because I like having inventory space, but you know, it's your call. So yep. What's this ladder go? Oh my god, nowhere. Hey, there's a roach up there. Treat a zombie fool. I saw a bad stink behind falls. Zoom. More ladders that go to nowhere. Saturn Valley is full of wonderful places to visit. No, but seriously, I, I really like this place. Uh, Mr. Saturns are pretty much the icon of the Mother series. Uh, I don't think they appeared in Mother 1, but they do appear in this game and in Mother 3. And yeah, they're they're cute little guys. I like them. So, yep. Uh, we're going to follow that one Saturn's advice and go check behind Grapefruit Falls.
Because apparently Belch's factory is back there. Ugh, more roaches. Yep. <sighs> I hate these stupid ro oh my god. Ugh. Sorry about that. I I just went ahead and decided to cut back to the beginning of this cave because there's nothing really to see in there. We already got the one item and so we're heading up here to where there are enemies. But the farm zombie here, he's nothing to worry about. He's the exact, pretty much the exact same as the urban zombies we fought in the underground race. This guy, though, the plain crocodile, you want to get rid of him fast because he has very powerful attacks. Uh, he's weak to freeze, so pretty much just one shot of that will do him in. So, yeah. Yeah, freeze is an awesome spell. It's, it's my favorite PSI attack in the game. Because enemies that are weak to it take a shit ton of damage. No. Oh no. Why? No. Why? <laughs> Why must you torment me like this? Why? Fuzzy pickles. <laughs> okay, well, let's go behind the falls. Say the password. And so begins three minutes of doing absolutely nothing. Yeah, you legit have to wait here for three minutes in game. So to make this a little bit less boring, I'm going to talk about uh, possible future Let's Plays. Um, one game that I really want to do, in fact I almost did it for my first LP, is Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky. Uh, the only reason I didn't do it for my first LP is because uh, I've only played through the game twice myself and while I I love it, I adore the game, I just, I, I don't know it like the back of my hand like I know Earthbound, so uh, I wanted to stick to something that, you know, I would actually be able to talk about <laughs> while I'm playing it. So that's pretty much why I did Earthbound first. But I do want to LP Mystery Dungeon because it's such an un... I, I just love it. I love the story, I love the gameplay, I love everything about it. So yeah, you might be seeing that uh, next time. Uh, other games I'd like to play, uh, well, I'd like to do a standard Pokemon game, too. Uh, not a full game, though, because it takes a long time to go through. Uh, I have been wanting to try a Nuzlocke challenge, so I might do an LP of that, maybe. I don't know, we'll see. Uh, if I can get my hands on a decent N64 emulator, I'd like to try Mystical Ninja starring Goemon. Uh, that's a, that's a really quirky and fun game that I've only seen LP'd a couple of times, actually. And I think it might be fun to do it. Yeah, truth be told, I'm not that good at video games. There are only a few that I've actually beaten <laughs> in all my years of playing video games. So, yeah. My choice of doing games to, uh, impossible games to LP is kind of limited. But yeah, uh, I don't think I'd dare do something as daunting as Final Fantasy or something because holy shit, the amount of time you have to put into those games, it's just oh my god. I mean, mad props to anyone who actually can LP a game that long, but <laughs> it's just, I, I don't think I'd have the attention span to do that, to be honest. Not to mention there's all these cutscenes and stuff that you gotta go through. Uh, a game like Earthbound, it's there really isn't much in the way of cutscenes, like it's unlike its sequel, Mother 3, which I honestly need to play in full. I've only played up to maybe the middle of the second chapter, decided it was too hard, and then just caved in and watched an LP of it instead. But I'd really like to finish it for myself sometime in the future. Because I love the story. I, I really do. I'm... <laughs> I'm kind of an emotional person, so any game that can make me cry is a good game, by my standards. God, how long have we been sitting here? Yeah, normally normally I would, uh... Oh, there we go. Okay, you may enter. So, we're in Belcha's base now, and honestly, I'm going to leave this for the next episode. Uh, sorry this is such a short video, but... This is kind of a long area, and I don't want to take any chances of... I don't want to take any chances of going over the 2 gigabyte limit again. 
Also, uh, there's a storm coming in the area, so I just want to cut this off really quickly so I don't lose any of my progress again. So, uh, if you like this, feel free to subscribe, and this has been Baku Usagi. I'll see you next time.